Hey guys, Erica here, and I wanted to share a quick video with you about my um, my disc punched um, Aaron Condren inserts. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions since I posted a picture on Instagram of them, and um, actually it starts right here. But this is the hourly layout in the neutral of the new binder version of the Life Planner from Erin Condren. And I'm not a binder girl. I've never liked binders. So <laughs> when I saw that they came out with that, I thought that was a really cool concept. And I was so interested about, um, about how the holes would line up. And, um, and this is what I ended up doing. And I think it came out really well. They're pretty strong. I mean, I did have to do something because I, I use the arc punch. I have the happy planner punch, but this one's a little bit, this one's a little bit punches more pages. It's just, it's heavier duty. And what I ended up doing is when I went to go punch this, what I ended up doing was I had to line them up and I made it so that the first punch, as you can see here, and the second punch kind of already went in. Um, there was already a hole there, so I kind of lined those up evenly, and then the rest kind of, they work well. Um, what I had to do was I actually put a little piece of washi tape here if I end up moving this, because I do punch things that are A5 size, so I move this around sometimes. So I put this here, and this is going to be whenever I want to punch the Erin Condren inserts. Um, that's where they have to go. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, I only did six months and I even did right here. You can see I wanted to start using this now. So I had a, um, a colorful hourly that was spiral bound and I punched it and you know, it's not too bad. It's not the strongest, but it's not too bad. So now with this, with the hourly not having the, you know, the spiral punches, all those punches, it works pretty well. Um, the only one that's kind of iffy is right here in the middle because um, it's so close to the other hole. But otherwise, I mean, they turn really smoothly. But I have six months in here. And then I have a section in the back um, that I have a, another spiral bound uh, uh, deluxe monthly that I had. And I'm actually gonna use it, I do real estate, and I'm actually gonna use it to an overview of our social media and any new prospects we talk to, you know, just things that I need to have. So I have that in the back and that actually is holding up pretty good. I, um, I punched a couple, I had a little bit extra, um, sheets, uh, from a note from the back of my deluxe monthly and I punched them for in here too. And it's working out pretty well as long as I don't tug on it too much. But, um, but I have it in here. Like I said, I have six months, well, seven months of the hourly, um, the new hourly. And then I have six months of the spiral bound deluxe monthly. And as you can see, the tabs do not stick out. So that's a nice thing. I mean, some people I know that really annoys them. Um, so the tabs don't stick out. You can see, kind of see that from the edge there. It works out really well. I'm really happy with it. And um, yeah, and, I, and then at the end of the year, I will, um, when I need the inserts for January through June, I will punch those but right now. I have those put away all together in a neat stack. But yeah, I hope that helps anybody that was thinking of getting the binder and they weren't sure. Maybe they're not a binder person, but they like, you know, they like the disc bound. Like I said, I would do it, you know, maybe in 2020, I'll get a vertical. My vertical will be like this. So it's like the best of both worlds, you know. Um, you get the portability of a spiral bound but you get the flexibility of a, of a ring binder. So that is pretty awesome to me. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, you know, feel free to ask, send me a message, leave a comment, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.